the anti-checker. We will return to your scheduled programming shortly, or we are currently experiencing technical difficulty. What is going on, YouTube? Michael J. Crawford, the anti-checker here. Uh, good to see you all. And uh, so Josh is here. Ivan Jones Skywatcher. You know, <laughs> the funny thing is some of you guys changed your username, so I'm not sure if you're... <laughs> Someone that I've talked to before. Uh, Marlena, my favorite representative from the Mary Universe, is here. And, of course, answers the question that is the name of this uh, live stream with, nope, you're just a turd. And it's like, yeah, you got me. Got me on that. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies are killing me today. Thomas Potts is here. Um, Jay is here. Good to see you. I'm a tip jar junkie. Yeah, there is that. Um, Captain Jesse says, hey, how you doing, Captain? Uh, Darwin James WR is here. Good to see you, Darwin. Josh is here. anti I thought you'd be taking a nap before working. Boy, I tell you, I, I'm, I'm beat up. I am very tired. Um, Fatty O Furniture. <laughs> Good name. <laughs> says, I'm a packlet. No, Lore is a packlet. Well, actually, Lore is technically only a half packlet. Uh, so, um... And uh, let's see, uh, boardroom bully, the H N I C of the bully pulpit. What? What kind of name is that? It just says yes, but what? <laughs> Bird of Prey says triggered. Uh, I like streamed, says Ivan. Um, anti, sometimes you make me cry. I'm sorry, Jay. How did I make you cry? That was not intentional. Uh, Andy Trucker, you're not a jerk. I was, uh, I was Captain Reckock who had a beef with, oh, it was Captain, yeah, bad. Hey, you know what? I, I, and I don't hold a grudge against the, against a good captain. He's got his opinion, whatever he, he, I think he kind of flew off the deep end with it and yeah. Um, and Andy Trekker is a huge jerk for not liking women with short hair. I'm just kidding. Plus, audio is in mono. Oh, is the audio in mono? I... No, wait. Oh, yeah, it is. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Sorry about that. My bad. Thank you, though, for D for pointing that out. Uh, well, the breaking news has made it to where I don't have to... Uh, where I have to do a bit of rework for my teaser live shows. <laughs> I try Firetail throws a couple of bucks into the, a uh, couple of evil European dollars, I should say, into the chat. Says you, Lieutenant Firetail signing in. Thank you, my friend. And I, by the way, I don't know if you saw it yet, but I did respond to your message via Patron. Um, Bird of Prey asked if audio is low for anyone. That was because it was in Mon, or in, uh, yeah, it was only come out one speaker, but I just fixed it. So probably fixed by now. And this message was like 20 minutes ago. Whoa, what did Anti Trigger do now? Oh, it's. Uh, I, I'm, I'm made Captain Redneck mad at me. And so, uh, uh, Andy Trigger is just a greedy tip jar. See, boy, I, I, see, I'm really not that greedy. Well, I am, but I try not to be. I gotta work on that. I gotta, I gotta figure something out. Um, sir, uh, is the t-shirt a reference for something from earlier today? You know, it's funny. I didn't realize I was wearing this, this, this shirt I picked up the other day. I love sarcastic t-shirts it does kind of fit though doesn't it i didn't I, that was not intentional though luke favark is in the house good to see you luke um and so yes yeah, so the audio should be all good now uh anti trucker are you a chicken or a rooster um well a a chicken is the general species because then you have hens and then you have roosters which is male and female so but i'm not poultry so i would have to say neither uh neil just got the notice well we've only been going for a couple of minutes neil so you didn't miss too much uh captain redneck why are you calling him redneck it's redneck come on show the man a little respect uh, thank you for your time watching the anti trigger i'm sorry for the personal beef with anti trigger please do not let the door hit you on the way out are you a jerk because you hate Michael Sue from Discovery? No, I, honestly, I just, uh, you know, I, I don't know. So no more Captain on the Bridge? Huh? Well, actually, I still have the Captain on the Bridge in the system. So if he joins us, I will still play that. Uh, unless he, uh, now he asked me to take him out of the credits, which I have to do this weekend. But 
you know, if he comes on and I play it and he says, please don't play that anymore, I'll stop. I, I, I got respect. Um, you know, I honestly don't get it. I really don't. And, and maybe that's why I'm, I'm kind of a little miffed over this. It's, I'm, it's not that I, I'm not angry per se. I'm really not. Um, I, I, I don't have any hard feelings towards Captain Redneck at all. I genuinely don't understand his beef. Uh, I, I, I really don't. I don't understand why he thinks what he seems to think. Um, and so, uh, I, it just, I, I, it, it boggles my mind. Why? First of all, you guys know, you know, I hope most of you at least that have been with me for a while know me well enough to know, A, that I've always said I love the original series the most, and B, that I nitpick the crap out of everything. And I've said a million times when people said, hey, you shouldn't nitpick, I said, hey, that's what I do. If you don't like nitpicking, you're on the wrong channel. Um, Thomas throws 499 into the chat. Thank you, Thomas. And says, Andy Trigger is a eugenics war veteran. Be nice to him. <laughs> Thomas, ah. Uh, so when you say number four, do you mean super chat number four? Do you mean uber chat number one, number four? I assume you mean uber chat number four, but I want to make sure before I click on the button because I don't want to mess you up. Uh, I do understand Redneck's issue because I share parts of it. Well, but here's the thing, Mr. Miles. I, uh, and, and I don't think I made it clear enough in my video about it, but honestly, well, like for example, when he accuses my reviews of being subjective, that's what a review is. All reviews of art are subjective because art is subjective. You cannot do an objective review of art except for to say the film is 42 and uh, it's one hour and 42 minutes long. It stars this person, this person, and this person. The plot is this, this, and this. As soon as you give an opinion on it, it's subjective, period. If you say something is good or bad when it comes to the artistic integrity of anything, that is a subjective opinion, period. Uh, what happened to Redneck? He's confused. Uh, I'm a little confused too, and that's the thing. I really don't get it. Why? And, and Mr. Miles, since you say you kind of agree with him, and I'm okay with that. Like I said, I'm not. But I mean, obviously, uh, uh, Luke has taken off. Hey, Luke, thank you for joining us. A brief moment that you were here, um, but I and I do truly appreciate it. And so, uh, you want Uber? Okay, let me throw that up here for you. Well, um, all right, well, let's beam down to the planet. Um, energize, Mr. Scott. Aye, Captain. Welcome aboard the USS Discovery. There's got to be some kind of other universe, right? Please, send me back. Oh, my God, send me back. I you know, send me back. Oh. Uh, forbidden planet sets the standard for Trek, and that's that. <laughs> yeah. uh, you left a long All right, I'll check out the comment later. And, and But uh, uh, Darth Revan says, uh, I was on a call to my cousin. Oh, okay, cousin in Boston today. I called him an ins insolent cur. He said, I'm not a diabetic dog, and I'm a retarded kitten at times, and he is LOL. He has uh, told me to remove a tree. He blew it up. You have some strange conversations. Mary is here. How how you doing, Mary? He says, hey, everyone. How you doing, Anti-Tricker? I'm not doing too bad. A little confused, but I'm all right. Uh, did this happen on Discord? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, he's, uh, for the last, oh gosh, for a while now, Redneck has been pretty much constantly going off on me in Discord basically talking about how I don't know Trek, I don't watch Trek, and and basically the reason apparently that he thinks that I do not watch and do not understand Star Trek is because of the fact that A, I think that um, Scorpion is the best episode of Voyager, uh, B, that I think the original series is the best of Trek, and C, that I don't think that First Contact is a freaking masterpiece. Uh, apparently those add up to I never watched Star Trek or something. And 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 my thing is, and I've even told him, uh, you know, when, when uh, you know, he and I messaged each other a few times over this, and I've said, hey, I'm perfectly okay with you liking 
different things than me. We don't, you know, and, and he always acted like, oh yeah, I don't have any hard feelings over it. But then he keeps posting in the public chat about what an idiot I am. And I'm, and so I, I was just at the point I'm like, okay, he, for some reason, he's like trying to get people riled up. So I just figured I would bring it to the surface and get it over with. Uh, everyone has a different opinion. Some people have a problem with the details while others don't. I, for example, didn't have a problem with Luke and Last Jedi, uh, but I had one, I had one with the overall movie. And, and that's the thing. And here's, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll even go that far. There are people that love Star Trek Discovery. There are people that love The Last Jedi. And I don't fault them for liking it. However, I do have a big problem, for example, for the people that are trying, and, and this is, go watch any mo any YouTube video dis de that's defending Discovery or The Last Jedi, and the common theme you'll find there that's so frustrating is that they're not defending The Last Jedi or defending Discovery. They're talking about how people that don't like it are sexist or racist or whatever. And that's not a productive conversation. We can have a great conversation about why I think the original series is better, and you can tell me all about why you think it's silly that they threw paper mache rocks and had cardboard sets. I'm okay with that. Um, you know, and and I'd be perfectly willing to admit that yes, the visuals in the original series were horrible. But you know, at least you don't like Voyager's episode Threshold. No, I am not lore reloaded. Jaegerbaum is in the house. Good to see you. Um, uh, it's good because I can't wait for the teaser to be done. After I'll send you a copy. I sent it to Andy Trigger and Captain. I can't wait to see it either, Captain. You you know, or draw <laughs> Captain draw, drawing for the fun of it. I, I saw Captain on another line you should have mrs anti-trekker say captain redna is in the brig <laughs> i am not going to do that because that would imply that i banned him or booted him i'm not going to do that the only reason that i would ever kick somebody is if they were spamming or if they were threatening uh sci-fi says hello anti-trekker you're not a jerk you're captain kirk how do you like the rhyme uh it's kind of iffy honestly I like TNG when it first came out, but as time went on, it's not as great as I remember. I honestly didn't like it at first, it, it, and it really took until... It, there was a couple of episodes in the first two seasons that I liked, like Q-Who, but really it wasn't until Best of Both Worlds that it really grabbed onto me. But then I, there's a lot of TNG that I really like, uh, but the first couple of seasons, not much. Um, truth has been spoken. <laughs> Uh, at least J.J. Star Trek Beyond uh, had Kirk ask the straight-up question about true Vice Admiral job getting grounded at a desk and then turned down promotion. Yeah, that was there. Uh, we don't all have to like the same things. People are different. Who cares? Get a life, people. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Um, how old is Captain Redneck? Maybe he's a younger fan. I, my understanding is Captain Redneck, while he's not as old as me, I think he's like around around 40 or so. Just talking to him, that's what the, the impression I get. And if so, I don't, I don't know why he's acting that way. I don't. I, I genuinely don't. And that's the problem. Um, so, uh, I, 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 my biggest problem with this is, like I said, I'm not angry with Redneck. I, I genuinely am not. I really don't grasp it. I really don't. Uh, King Waspinator, the double dog dare guy is here. He, he, King Waspinator, and, and you guys tell me what you think of this. King Waspinator has come up with a way for me to supposedly redeem myself, and that is to uh, do my next movie review on Star Trek II, since I love, I guess because I love the original series so much that it would prove that I can make fun of the original series. Although, honestly, I mean, Star Trek II, I mean, that's... <sighs> It would be tough for me to be as harsh on Star Trek II as, as something like First Contact, not because of, oh, I love Star Trek, the original series so much more. It's that Star Trek II is, a, is literally the best Star Trek movie ever made compared to First Contact, which is on the high side of average. And so, uh, you know, if, if you were going to... I would probably have an easier time ripping up... Um, almost any of the other films. Well, Star Trek 2 and Star Trek 6, I would have a really tough time with as far as making it appear that I'm just ripping it to shreds because there's not a lot to rip on. There, there are definitely some things. Uh, you know, one thing, like the whole con new checkoff thing. That's, but yeah. I got the impression Redneck's about at least as old as you but never spoke about it. Yeah, he didn't talk about his age much, which 
That's fine. It's, you don't have to. You said you wouldn't use the Borg series to attack the rest of Voyager, but that's exactly what you're doing. I'll bet that's one of the things that's annoyed Redneck. But I'm not just attack. In fact, I yes, Unity. I sure I ripped apart Unity because it's a crap episode. I know some people like it, but I don't. Uh, however, as far as um, Scorpion is concerned, I love Scorpion. And so, do a review of the slow motion picture. I could do that one. That would be an easy one. Uh, but, you know, that's the problem is that if I do... And, and this is the rock and a hard place thing. And, uh, Waspinator, you help me out here because this was your idea. Um, yeah, cons and competence would be good. Um, but, Waspinator, here's the problem. Is that if I did a review of Star Trek 2 and I was just as nitpicky as I always am, and I found a lot of good jokes to throw in there. One of two things would happen. Either I wouldn't be able to, because Star Trek II is a much tighter, better film, I wouldn't be able to have as many good jokes about it, and therefore people would say, see, he's biased, or I would have as many jokes about it, and people would say, see, he's just doing it because people said he likes it. And so it's a lose-lose for me. Star Trek V is kind of the opposite extreme, though, Schomer, is because Star Trek V is so freaking bad that, I mean... How can you not make a joke out of almost everything that happens in that movie? Um, I've defended a proof that you that you like some new Trek. It's called Orville. That you got me on that Tesla. Mary says I grew up watching both the original series and TNG. I don't have a problem with either one. I have all the episodes uh, and all the movies uh, from the original to Captain Picard. I see. I love the. I grew up on when I grew up growing up. Mary, there was no Next Generation because uh, I was born in the '60s and. So I literally grew up on the original series. I went to see Star Trek The Motion Picture on opening day. It was like an incredible experience for me. But, uh, you know, I, well, and, and I, I, I just, uh, so for me, there was no next generation back then. And so I admit that obviously my favoritism towards the original series has something to do with the fact that when I was a kid, that's what there was. We are all nostalgic towards things that existed when we were young. You know, people, te that's why a lot of millennials, for example, uh, or not millennials, but a lot of um, Gen Y uh, love Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, and to older millennials too, uh, love The Next Generation, because that's what they grew up with. To them, that's their childhood. To me, it wasn't. Your pre-review of Scorpion was a lot more like how you uh, was a lot more about how you dislike Voyager as a whole. Well, if if you want to say that is in that I said that well, unfortunately this while this one is awesome, the series as a whole didn't love it live up to it. I'll give you that, but it, that wasn't the point of it. The point of it was that this is what Voyager could have been. This is what it should have been, in my opinion. Uh, and unfortunately, it's not what it turned out to be and that's that is i mean to me a huge lost opportunity voyager is the ultimate example of missed opportunity to me as far as trek is concerned thomas throws a buck 99 says i sent you a few pics on discord number four please well let me all right And so let's take a look at these pictures that Thomas sent. And so it looks like we got some pictures from uh, Captain Marvel. And so there's her in the suit. There's her um, not in the suit. There's her, or there's Ronan. And I guess that looks like a, uh, you know, some kind of uh, uh, boy from the Nova Corps or something and the director. And there's Marvel, and I assume that's he's like the original Captain Marvel. And uh, there's a bunch of people facing off with Ronan. So, yeah, I mean, that doesn't really tell you anything. Could be awesome, could suck. Um, I'm hoping that it's awesome. Marvel is a great track record so far, so I'm truly hope hoping that that. Um, Here's a joke. If USA was a bad guy in World War II and Germany was a good guy, that would... How's that a joke? Riker is goat. No, he is not. 
a 30 year old gen y millennial i think 30 year old i'm not 100 percent sure on the generation gap but i think it would be millennial but i'm not positive i get confused my internet is terrible i'm trying to upload a video while listening to live stream keeps stalling yeah that's that good luck with that <laughs> um i'm gen x but my husband was born in 64 he loves the original better um, yeah, so, uh, I, I, your husband is a couple of years older than me, but, uh, I'm technically Gen X, but I'm at the very, very beginning of Gen X. And, um, and yeah, so for me, the original series is literally what I grew up on. I, when I was a kid, I would watch the animated series of Saturday morning cartoon. That was freaking awesome. So why the Starfleet, uh, why, so that... So that is why Starfleet militarized their organization. Even on Star Trek Enterprise, when a Warp 5 ship left Earth, every other major species was on the warpath. Except that if you go by next generation, they're not the military. But yeah, I, I think it would kind of make sense that, that you know, like, because, and actually that that's one thing that makes a lot of sense in Enterprise is that they went out woefully undergunned and then they realized, oh crap, there's a lot of aggressive people out there. We need to arm the crap out of ourselves. Um Lieutenant, uh, you're meeting the only Starfleet cadet who ever beat the no-win scenario. Scenario, because he doesn't like to lose. Uh, the life dyslexic is in the house. Says uh, I got in Trek via I got in Trek via TNG. But the original has magic quality to it. That's my second favorite after DS9. I tell you, the original. Here's the thing. Um, I personally say just for fun that Star Trek IV would be the best to do uh, a dissection series. I don't know, Wasp Air, I, I will probably do one of the original era movies. Um, I, I know not. I, I think your Double Dog Dare video, I, I mean, I think there's some merit to that. And so I may do something like that. I don't know if I'll do Star Trek II off the bat, but I might. Because it is the best of the best. And if I'm going to prove my nitpickiness, that might be the way to do it. Uh Am I born in the 90s? Am I a 90s kid or a millennial? I don't know. Ask Google. Jeez, what I look like? Hey, you kids today not knowing how to look things up. All right, so let's look. What is years for millennials? Um, due to birth year overlap between Gen X and Gen Y, millennials, some individuals during... That's not... Well, let's see. What is all this? Okay, born to range. It turns out millennials it depends on who's defining them. So yeah, uh, I see the general range for millennials is from like born sometime from the mid 80s up to about 2000. Uh, so if you're a 90s kid, you are indeed a millennial. Uh, throwing pennies all day long. Yes, thank you, slash dot dash. I'm sorry, I, I, uh, you're not a jerk. You're a greedy jerk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very true. So, Slash, of course, you can pick one of the Super Chat rewards if you so choose. I thank you, though. My favorite TOS movie is Undiscovered Country. That is a darn good one. And I put Undiscovered Country... It depends on my mood. There are times when I say Undiscovered Country is the best one, but most of the time I say it's a close second. Um, between 83 and 2000. Yeah, so... Um, so, Millennials is a spectrum. Yes. <laughs> Marlena's upset because she's a millennial. Back to the greed. <laughs> love Star Trek VI. I, I do love Star Trek VI. It's a great movie. Uh, activate interlock. Dino rhythms connected. Interfractals up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's go anti-trekker force. <laughs> 90s kids be like, help me, mommy. I scraped my knee. Well, I'm, Waspinator, I mean, I, I don't know how old you are. I, I assume you're close to my age, but... Um, yeah. <sighs> Darth Revan says, but when did they expect that they are going exploring, which is them going into the Empire space and hostile space? Not everyone welcome a random ship in their space. Uh, you tip jar old fart. Wow, what is this? Insult anti trekker day? Wow. Uh, I don't identify as a millennial. Oh, geez. You got one of those here. Um, you don't identify. Sorry, Tom. You know what, Thomas? I. I I hate the term of how one identifies. I hate that idea. Because you know what? You are what you are. You were born where you were born. Your genetics are what your genetics. Your gender is what your gender is. Winston thinks that Star Trek V is the best. Um, 
Yeah. Jaeger bomb. So, oh, yeah, I didn't even. I got completely spaced. Josh throws a buck into the chat, and we all know what that means. I have got something better. So thank you, Josh. I do appreciate it. And if I didn't catch it already, go ahead and throw a... Uh, oh, it says, let Mary pick. Mary, you get to pick a Super Chat roar between 1 and 14. So because Josh was trying to be chivalrous. Horrible of you, by the way. Absolutely horrible of you. Being chivalrous is sexist, my friend. Uh, Jimmy says millennials start in 1981. Well, it depends, and that's why, like on the on the chart that I was looking at, is it depends on who's who you're talking to. There's some people that started uh, actually at 1979. There's some that started at 1981. Some that start 1983. Some that start in 1985. They all go up to either the late 90s or right to the year 2000. Uh, well, then I'm turn of the century, born in 96, conservative, right leaning kid. Um, well, sci-fi. If you were born in 96, you are clearly a millennial. Star Trek V was a bomb. Yes, but it was so awesome. You know, Star Trek V was the room for my generation. <laughs> uh, Star Trek II is greater than 6, greater than 8, greater than 4. Um, let's see. 8 would be First Contact. I, so, First Contact versus Save the Whales. I'd probably go with that. I, I'd probably say First Contact was better than Star Trek Four, but I would also, but I would probably say that Star Trek Three was better than First Contact. I actually like Star Trek Three. I think it gets more hate than it deserves. Do you really think Voyager is more of a missed opportunity than Enterprise was? In a sense, yes, Mister Miles, because Enterprise, unfortunately, uh, Enterprise was the horrible case of too little, too late, um, and because Enterprise started out. The, the pilot was actually pretty strong. It got really flat for the first couple of seasons. Season three, they started to pick up. Season four, it actually got really interesting. But at that point, it was too little, too late, and the show was done. Um, and so, but with Voyager, I mean, they completed their entire run of Voyager. And they had a few moments where it was like, oh, that could be so great. This is what it should be about. And then they go right back to quantum, quantum, quantum. Um, anti Trekker, you're not a jerk, sir. You are what we call honest, a rare quality, uh, but you have it in spades. Well, thank you, Admiral. Mega number three. In fact, just for that, I'm, I'm going to throw you... Uh, I'll play mega number three in just a minute, but just for fun, uh, this is something I've, I've been working on my Scorpion review, and unfortunately, because I got no sleep last night, I probably won't get the Scorpion review up in time, but let me see where here it is. All right. So, a little something to throw up here. Quantum, 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 quantum. Why I did that, I have no idea. Actually, and and I also have Neelix here, flapping his gums. I was just messing around. This all stuff from Scorpion. Um. Here's the actual clip. Nicknamed it the Northwest Passage. Unfortunately, the passage is filled with intense gravimetric distortions, probably caused by a string of quantum, 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 quantum singularities. Better to ride the rapids than face the high. And of course, now this, now I'm probably DMCA'd by CBS. <laughs> but let's get number three on there for you my friend now that we've had more quantum than we can possibly handle in the great hall of the justice league there floats the world's four greatest turds created from cosmic indigestion super turds Wonder Turd! Bat Turd! Aqua Turd! And those two junior Super Turds, Lore Reloaded and Punchy the Wonder Cat!
You know, that's true that the, that the Bolana quantum thing sounds like it could be the beginning of a techno track. I might have to do that, you know, like add that to my song somewhere. Um, like, for example, let's see if we're like... Mm -hmm. Just a thought. <laughs> okay. Um, all Punchy was doing is showing lore, yes. Punchy the Wonder Cat. And so Neelix is just like chewing up everything. We'll put Neelix over here. Uh, because, you know, we just can't have enough of Neelix. Let's see. We need play forever. All right. So, slash dot dash says, no more. Or Captain Rednick was right. No more pennies for you. Oh, man. I am sorry about that, my friend. I'm, I truly am. But, slash, you can still pick a super chat because I love you even if you hate me. I'll send you a Star Trek picture in general discard for you to check out. Oh, jeez. What did you do now? Hold on just a second. And Alix throws a fiver in there. Thank you, Alix. Give me just a second because I'm trying to, like, do five things at once here. And jump to present... Oh, the Enterprise F. I have seen the Enterprise F. It does kind. Of, it looks like a Sovereign 2.0 to me. It's not a bad looking ship, but I still. I, I'm not a big uh, fan of the later designs of Trek for whatever reason. And so here I'll bring it. Man, like having total mouse dyslexia problems. So here's the Enterprise F. Uh, for those of you that have not seen it, it's soft canon, meaning that it's official unless they ever contradict it on film. And so, yeah. Um, so, Alex says, greetings, Sandy Trekker. You have been recruited by the Star League. Oh, you have been recruited by the Star League to defend the frontier against Zer and the Kodan Armada. That was so freaking awesome. I love me the last Starfighter. And Uber of Waspinator's Choice. So, Waspinator... You have been given an Uber chat. So you can pick any of the Uber chats, one through four, my friend. So you obviously get a pick. Uh, just set Milana to a fat Milana to a fat beat. Yes, I will have to do that. Um, Andy Checker, for that, I'm going to write some breaking news. I'm gay 200 times. <laughs> I'm not going to put that on there. If, if, I, if, I did censor actually a couple of the things that you guys have said because I'm not putting any four letter words or anything that be, could be construed by the YouTube bots as hate speech because I don't want to get shut down. Um, and let's see. Lore make YouTube go for the fourth time. I'm sorry, Slash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I'm I'm. Try, you guys keep that's the problem when everybody's like oh go to discord go to discord and i keep losing track of everything in the chat because i'm bad about that but let's get lore up there for you sir we are being hailed on screen what is your problem i am lore do you need help I have a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Lore Reloaded. Let me guess, their rubber band broke, right? I make YouTube go. And so there you go, Slash. Sorry for taking so long. And uh, yeah, trying to get keep cut out. How much do I weigh, Ivan? More than I should, but less than I did a week ago. Mary throws out number 11. You got it, Mary. Here we go. Okay, Dad, let me get this helmet on here. And... <laughs> Fuck you, Luke Skywalker. Lousy and great. Hate that kid. And Waspinator says that the anti trucker hates Nine Inch Nails. Why would you say that? You have never. Nobody has ever asked me in my opinion of Trent Reznor and Nine Inch Nails. So that makes no effing sense whatsoever. Um, breaking news: Anti Captain Butterfly. <laughs> 
Uh, you know where to put the breaking news, and for those of you that don't, you can go to the Discord server, and there is, in fact, a news ticker suggestions, and as long as they are not obscene or otherwise something that would get me in trouble to where I, uh, you know, with the YouTube bots, I will put them eventually into the news ticker at the bottom. Getting back to some TOS, we'll rejoin you shortly. All right, Alex, you take care of yourself. Um... The data laugh will bring about world peace. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Slash is going to make something. Be right back. Uh, notice he didn't say make like something to eat. Kind of makes me nervous. Yeah, still wait for Waspinator's choice. Uh, you know, he's sitting there accusing me of hating nine inch nails for some reason, but whatever. Um, Turd Vader. Yes. And so, Anti Trekker, you look like Nine Inch Nails. I, I don't think I look anything. I, I, I haven't. I, I don't know what Trent Reznor looks like now, but I don't think I look anything like him. But if you say so, um, hi, I'm. <laughs> I, I'm Lore. This is my daughter, Lauren, my son, Lawrence, and this is my granddaughter. She's DeLoreans. Together, we are the Reloaded. <laughs> Uh, Sci-Fi Sith says, hate speech is, is free speech in the U.S. by U.S. Con US Constitution and Supreme Court. Uh, I say those that disagree are too overly sensitive children can grow up. I agree with you. However, uh, YouTube is not protected speech. And therefore, uh, can't I, that I, if YouTube says, hey, if you talk about certain people in a derogative way, we'll kill you. Uh, well, remove your channel, then they have the right to do so. And so I have to go by their rules. Um, Junius says, I'm at work. Try to check in later. All right, my friend, you take care of yourself. Waspinator finally picks number two. And Waspinator, why did you say that when you get a chance, why did you say that I hate Nine Inch Nails? Because I, I really don't understand that. Hello, everybody. Is your front yard not growing according to your plan? Are you unable to eradicate those pesky rebellious crackers? <laughs> Call us. I am the Lawn Master. And everything will grow according to my design. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Um, I, I actually do, uh, the, the classic Nine Inch Nails, like, uh, I, I uh, Pretty Hate Machine was freaking awesome. Uh, I can't even remember, what's the name of the album that came after that? Um, the one that Closer was on. I, I'm losing my mind. But yeah, the, that, back then I did, I really liked them. Um, and Jaegerbaum throws a couple of bucks because he says he's got something better. I have got something better! My phone's going off. And, um, wants to see the infinity flush. You got it. Oh, no, no, please, I, mm -hmm. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, please. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to go. No. Mm -hmm. Why would you do this to your mm -hmm. fans, you heartless monster? What <laughs> Downward spiral. Thank you, Waspinator. Yes, um, the the uh, the downward spiral. I I loved that album. Uh, but yeah, Pretty Hate Machine and Downward Spiral were my two favorite uh, Nine Inch Nails albums. Uh, if you could name uh, a child a child of a person you secretly hate, would you give them a weird name like Fizz Walton or just a really unusual name like Mog? So if I could name the child of someone that I hated, hmm, uh, I would probably give like, uh, let's say like, uh, say Captain George was the person that I hated. Then I would name Captain George's son, I hate Captain George. <laughs> Uh, have you ever heard of SF Debris? I have. Uh, I used to be a big fan of F SF Debris back in when uh, he was mostly doing Star Trek stuff. Now he's kind of all over the place. And he has become, in, in my humble opinion, a little too much of a tip jar. I know that some people accuse me of that, and there's some fair criticisms to that. But um, the at the same time, 
I think that, uh, uh, you know, the fact that you have to buy a review, I don't like that. Um, so late, so late. Sorry, MC. What, uh, who does the voices for Super Chat number one? I do the voice of the turd that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's me, obviously. And the other voice is, uh, is my son, Joshua. Um, what type of ship would the Starfleet ship USS Judge Advocate General Corps would be? No idea. Just named Wesley. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, think of Captain George's children, Anti-Trigger. I know, but it would be so fun to name someone that. Um, or you just name them. Okay, okay, so here's what you name them. You name them. This is a stick up. No, I'm not kidding. I have a gun in my pocket. Give me all your money. That becomes their legal name. And that way, if they go to the bank and they show them their ID, they think they're handing them a note and, you know, they'll see why I went to the bank and everybody was giving me money. That's cool. Laura wants you to, Laura wants to F you like, and, <laughs> yes, no, I, <laughs> I oh, mean, I love Closer, that song, but I could not sing that song today because, yeah. Uh, I like Pretty Hate Machines best uh, because uh, I started loving Nine Inch Nails from that album. I'm kind of the same way. That, that's when I first really got into them. Galvin throws 10 pounds into the chat and just says, yes, you are a jerk. So are you saying that's a good thing, Galvin, since you paid me and said that? I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that because I am greedy, but I'm just kind of curious uh, and of course uh gavin why did i say calvin gavin i am just losing my mind today i can't read at all i think it's just because i didn't I, you know i literally got three and a half hours of sleep last night thanks to some of you guys uh but uh you uh absolutely since with a with a 10 pound donation you can pick any of the super chats or you can have an uber chat or you can even pick one of the mega chats don't forget mega chat number one makes everybody's eyes bleed well, Mega Chat number three is, in my opinion, the single greatest uh, Super Chat reward in the history of time. Uh, Jaegerbaum, thoughts of creating videos for a uh, thought about creating videos for the Uber Chat or Mega Chat? You mean like live action videos? I have. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, I, there's actually a couple things that, that I may do with Lore Reloaded or something to, uh, like that. Um, Andy Trucker, here's a YouTuber you should watch. He's called Empelmon. I've never heard of Empelmon. Uh, Waspinator says, who chucks more wood, a woodchuck or Michael Burnham? Well, if Michael Burnham is attempting to chuck wood, then of course, because she is perfect at everything she does, she would chuck more wood than a woodchuck could. Because she is effing Michael Burnham and therefore is perfect at everything. Um, Entrick, I heard you were just gotten severe to PTSD and Pepe memes will trigger you. So you start screaming, why redneck? Why am I? I'm sorry. I'm looking to get far point. Come back. Redneck. <laughs> Call the kids. George. How fast are you? Not. Um, like for a single dollar once. <laughs> Gavin says, wait, I get a reward? You certainly do. You must be new to the channel. Uh, notice on the uh, left-hand side of the screen, there's a list of Super Chat rewards, Uber Chat rewards, and Mega Chat rewards. And with a 10-pound donation, you can pick any of them. The Mega Chat rewards are the, are the most sought after. And you want Mega Chat number one. So, guys, I hope you have your bleach ready. Because Gavin has decided to pull the trigger on the quantum of the force. I may have a sh It's not clean. Repeat, I do not have a clean sh Take the bloody sh
<laughs> oh. Ha. Yes, the, the look of pure ecstasy on Law Reloaded's face in that final shot is just so wonderful. Gavin says, sorry, I had to drink I'm in love with Lord now. Well, you have to tell him that you that you fell in love with him watching um, watching the uh, the James Bond thing. And, uh, and and I gotta say, Laura and I made that years ago uh, for as a sketch for another channel that we were a part of together at the time. And he's a good sport for letting me use that because I did ask him before I started using it. Um, this mega chat makes me feel all confused inside. Makes my thingy tingle. <laughs> my shirt feel too tight. Alex, you got deep issues, man. Andy Trucker, did you ever watch Shinobi 3's channel? Um, no, I, I actually have not. I haven't had it. Uh, I'm, and I'm going to mark it again because I know I've been horrible. Uh, but frankly, guys, I have been so swamped. And I apologize for that because that's not really a good excuse. But it's just what happens. Um... Uh, makes me moist, says Winston. Wow. Wow. Um, Neelix makes a nice fish. Um, I, I don't think I would trust any of Neelix's cooking. Uh, so was that before or after he, he had kids? Oh, he had, he had kids at that point. I th I'm trying to think. Was I don't remember if his second was born yet. Yeah, I think I think yeah, I think they were both born. I think the second was still a baby. Uh, have you heard of Lore Runner? He currently does reviews, analysis, Star Trek shows. Like I have heard of Lore Runner. I do not uh, know his or her stuff. Love the shirt. Thank you. Yes, I, I like this shirt. Uh, fits fits my mood today. <laughs> my vote is not a jerk. Your opinion, and you give a few f's about. Uh, and give few F's about things that don't matter to you. Also, you make everyone better for educating them. Well, thank you, Alex. Um, and I know that, you know, I understand sometimes I rub people the wrong way. And that didn't sound good. Um, I, I know that I come off as abrasive sometimes to some people. But at the same time, if I were to change my opinion just because it pissed off people then i wouldn't be me and that wouldn't be i i i would have no self-respect mecca random is in the house how you doing ma'am um ah wait everybody the captain has joined us you know what that means Ooh, captain redneck is on the bridge good to see you captain and someone asked me, where is my fedora? Where did I put it? Man, I thought I had it right here. I must have moved it. Huh. I, I must have. I said it somewhere. I don't, I don't have the fedora today. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so, Mech Random and Captain Redneck, good to see you both. Um... Our video links allowed here just to link some of Lore Runner's uh, Star Trek reviews. You can't put them in the um, in the live chat. You can uh, so. Have I enjoyed uh, all your gift whiskey? No, I still have a good chunk of it, and so I'm, I'm taking my time with it. Um, what's the self-respect of which you speak? Yes, <laughs> I will. I, I do have a thing called self-respect. The anti trigger is the Ted Haggard of Star Trek. You, wow, Waspinator, really? You're gonna you're gonna compare me to Ted Haggard? Seriously? Uh, did he just say you need more whiskey? No, I did not say I need more whiskey. I said that I'm saving it. I have I, I preserve the whiskey because I'll tell you I I do love good whiskey, but I don't drink it like. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, like when I'm when I'm hanging out with you guys on the late night stream, uh, whiskey is a little too too much, um, and so you know I prefer something a little lighter like vodka or something. Um, uh, Redneck says, "How do y'all? Let me make one thing absolutely clear: I'm not irked, upset, agitated, trigger, or any other emotions some folks want to tag on. I'm simply voicing my opinion on the matter. That's cool. I don't understand it, but that's cool." Uh, and uh, Mercer says, your video was not necessary. Well, I felt it was, just because I, I think too many people were, uh, and, and whether 
the, the good captain intended it or not, a lot of people were getting upset over some of the stuff that was going on there. And so I figured best to just put it on the surface and air it all out. Because I honestly, I don't get a lot of time to post on Discord. I generally don't. And so, uh, so basically, just had to give my opinion. I don't think that, uh, you know, first of all, and Redneck, I know that you've, you've accused me of being uh, subjective in my reviews, but I've said before, all review is subjective. Uh, there's no such thing as an objective review of a work of art, except to say, just give a basic description of it. Slash dot dash throws another 79 of his fake whatever they call him there. Uh, and thank you, I guess. <laughs> but I've got, of course, you can pick a super chat reward. Um, anyway, but yes, yeah, so some people were upset. They genuinely were. And so I wanted to uh, basically clear the air on it. That's all. Um, but no, I, I think that all all reviews of art is, is completely subjective because unless you're unless you're giving your opinion, you're not really doing a review. Um, and I've made no bones about where my favorites lie. And I've always said I like the original series the best. Uh, I've always said the Voyager was among my least favorites. The only Star Trek sh series, however, that I hate would have to be Discovery. And while you may, my, I may not be someone who watches episodes of Voyager every day and memorizes them, uh, that doesn't mean I haven't seen them. And I think that it's completely unfair for you to start running around mouthing off saying that I don't watch Star Trek because you disagree with me on which one is the best, which, by the way, is a subjective opinion. Um, so... So anyway, uh, let's see. Andy Trekker, do you know Misanthro Pony watches your... Yes, Misanthro is, is uh, actually frequently in the live streams. Great guy. Did an awesome uh, Last Jedi review. And so, uh, Jaeger Bomb throws five bucks into the chat. Thank you so much, Jaeger. Says, who is the most incompetent captain in Star Trek history? And may I see a turd in two trucks? You absolutely can't, Jaeger. You are still way too darn polite, but absolutely you can see uh, a turd in two trucks. The most incompetent captain in Star Trek history... Well, if you're talking Alpha Cannon, you see, there's so many good choices. However, I, and, and I know uh, you probably, some people will disagree with me on this for sure, but then no matter what I chose, somebody was going to disagree. But I'm going to go with Commodore Decker um, because of the fact that he basically i mean from from what you could tell from the doomsday machine a quick scan of the of the machine itself you it's not like they couldn't tell that it was made of neutronium and yet he attacked it anyway um got everyone on his ship killed then tried to commandeer the enterprise and repeat his folly so that is incompetence and i know people say well he's shell-shocked he's suffering from ptsd whatever which is true but at the same time he's also a starfleet uh, a starship captain those people are cut above and should be able to rise above the situation as every main character captain has uh, except for apparently picard in one instance anyway let's bring up turd and two tracks well um all right well let's beam down to the planet um energize mr scott hi captain <laughs> Welcome aboard the USS Discovery. There's got to be some kind of other universe, right? Please, send me back. Oh, my God, send me back. I beg you, no, send me back. Oh. Uh, Redneck says, also, I've never said that you hate Star Trek series. Uh, so don't lie about that. I can't make response videos, so I'm incredibly emotional. Fair enough, but what you did say is that my attitude is that TOS is awesome and everything else sucks. I infer you're saying, I like this, I hate everything else. Because I wouldn't say it all sucks if I liked it in any way, shape, or form. Um, so, no, did you say the word hate? No. But I'm not being a lawyer here. I'm simply saying that that's the general vibe that you gave. 
I didn't quote you as saying that. I quoted you saying exactly what I just said, that you said that you're tired of the uh, TOS is awesome and everything else sucks. And that is what you said. It's on Discord. Unless you deleted the comment, anybody can see it. Um, <laughs> Gavin says, don't worry, Redneck, I like you. Hey, and I and, and I said, and those of you that were here at the beginning said, I have no ill will towards Captain Redneck. He is a person who voices his opinion, and I actually respect that. It's just that it was bothering other people, and it was coming to a head, and so I just wanted to say, okay, let's clear the air. Let's get it out there. All right? That's... That's all it really is. I do not in any way, shape, or form hate Captain Redneck or dislike him, uh, but I disagree with him and I don't understand his opinion. I genuinely don't. Uh, but, hey, he's entitled to it. I like the turd S terrified STD face. <laughs> Completely disagree about Decker. He tried to save his crew and had to watch and listen to them die when the transporter went down. He hadn't received any treatment. He wasn't in common. Um... He also, well, I understand why you would say that, Richard, but uh, and, and I get that, I do. But first of all, Decker is in the chat right now, so I had to say Decker. Um, I think Redneck and I triggered this team to 69 there back, way back in love. Uh, no, I've never been into that. Um, uh, Redneck says, I just said I did not say you hate, and I just said I didn't say that was the exact word that you said, I quoted you directly from Discord, you said that, uh, quote, that you are tired of the TOS is awesome and everything else sucks. That is what you said. That's what I quoted you as saying. That's what you said. I don't know why you can't get that into your head, Captain. I'm not saying that you said the word hate. However, what I did say is that I infer from that that you're suggesting that I like TOS and hate everything else because of the language that you used. Period. That's it. But I'm not quoting you as saying hey. But just like you keep insisting over and over and over that I hate uh, first contact because of an offhand remark that I said in that one video from a long time ago. But that's fine. Uh, slash dot dash says, why can't I send a link? Um... That's a good question, because you have a wrench, so you should be able to just post a link. And by the way, thank you for the pound 99. If you do want a super chat reward, you, by all means, you can, uh, you can absolutely pick one. Uh, but you should be able to just copy and post a link. Uh, that's why I quit. Can't win for losing with this effing liar. Later. All right. How am I lying, Captain? I said what you said. I told you, and, and it's not a lie to say what I inferred from that. It would only be a lie if I told you that something that was untrue. Andy Trucker is a TOS supremacist. That's the problem. Oh, that must be it. <laughs> the, uh, the superior truck! Um, wow, the whole redneck thing under, underlines my point about why people have such ridiculous standards. Why does any YouTube channel owe us anything? How is Andy Trucker a liar and why does it matter? I don't know what I'm lying about. That's... Uh, am I, I didn't say, you know, and Captain, make, make it clear one more time. I did not say you said the word hate. I said that I inferred that based on the language that you did use. That you're tired of me suggesting that the original series is great and everything else sucks. <sighs> is Marlena leaving? I didn't catch her saying that, but I see Mary saying bye to Marlena. So, Marlena, I'm truly, so I hope we didn't drive you away because of all our testosterone spraying around here. Um, and let's see, click the, click the link, click the link slash dot dash says, did you manage to get, oh, there it is. Uh, let me see here. You guys send me all this stuff. Oh, jib jab. Gotta love jib jab. All right. <laughs> That's just wrong. Hi, right, let me bring this up here. I don't know. I don't know. See, I, I'll probably get DMCA'd because that song is a copyrighted song, you know. But let me see here. That is just wrong. Oh, if you did not even go there. All right, I'm done. <laughs> 
Oh, that is evil. Evil! <laughs> have you ever played the game Dead Red Re Revolver? I have not. Uh, Got to go wash my car soon, but not yet. I, well, thank you for the warning. You know, the, I don't know where you live, but if it rains, you can always just let the rain take care of it. TNG rules, admit this. Um, no? <sighs> Sci-Fi says, please check General Discord. Send you, you guys and your pictures. I tell you, you're like, you just don't want me to be able to see what's going on in the chat. And then you get mad at me because of the chat. What do you think of the Stargate fri franchise next gen? Uh, I haven't s gotten that far into Stargate, so I can't give an honest opinion of it until I see it in action. Once I get to that point in Stargate, I will absolutely tell you. By the way, we uh, the episode we watched today, yet again reminiscent of a Star Trek episode, this time Mirror Mirror, as uh, Daniel ended up going through a mirror into an alternate universe where everything was horrible. Uh, Redneck says, YouTube channels owes us nothing, and that I'll agree. But we owe each other, especially in the case with anti trekker and I, is honesty, first and foremost, always no one did. And I'm being honest. I didn't lie to you, man. I, I know you th I think I did, but I genuinely didn't. And if I did, it was an inadvertent, and therefore not a lie, a mistake. Uh, Redneck knows that the first duty is to the truth. Yes. You're welcome. Uh, you can mute it. <laughs> yeah, that was just painful, man. Um... Anti-trucker, I'm from Texas. Oh, if you're in Texas, then it doesn't really matter. Your, your vehicle is supposed to be covered in dirt anyway. Um, Josh says, how would how it should have ended put a how the Venom trailer should have ended. Did they really? They did it for a trailer? Uh, I'll have to check it out because I do love how it should have ended um, most of the time. Um Darth Raven, we are nerds and adults, and you have your own views, and we have ours, both geek, wise, religious, and political. We should say what is wrong with the point, not with the person. I tend to agree, Darth, and I guess that's where I where I get a little peeved with what, what and I don't know if you're assuming you're still her captain. Um, where I get a little peeved is not that you disagree with me. I mean, if you think that, for example, I, I, I think you said something about how you think The Phage is a great episode and better than Scorpion. If you think The Phage is a better episode than Scorpion, by all means, that's fine. Argue with me. Give me the points why you think that is. But to call me an effing liar and to say that I don't watch Star Trek because we disagree on that, I think that's, that's you're turning it into a personal attack for no apparent reason. And I don't, and I don't get it. I don't know why you're doing that. Uh, do I hate Star Trek series? Your BS title um, is a lie unto itself. No, it's not. I didn't say Captain Redneck says I hate Star Trek series. And I did even say at the beginning of the video that I was responding to you and others that have said similar things. So, uh, so you know, may maybe you're just taking a little too personal. Um, Am I a jerk is another one. Well, I, I just, I was trying to think of a name for the live stream. I thought that was appropriate because a couple of people called me a jerk because of my video today. Um, Redneck said, I hate Star Trek is another lie. Okay. If, if I said, Redneck said, I hate Star Trek, I apologize. That was inadvertent. I don't recall saying that. However, if I did say that, that was inadvertent for me to say that you actually said that. However, I did say what you actually said. Um, Mecha says, just ban the trolls. <laughs> Scorpion is one of my favorite episodes of all time. I like Scorpion a lot. Uh, I, I genuinely do. Uh, and, I, and I said, obviously, in my intro video that I think Scorpion is the best of Voyager. And, and it's unfortunate that the rest of the series didn't live up to it. Um, Revan says, good evening, or uh, good everything starts coming together in SG-1 after this episode. The Series 1 finally, uh, finale, I assume you mean, is, is directly tied to the episode. It brings back characters from SO1 and 2. Um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Titch says, I wouldn't say H Redneck is trolling. No, I think he, uh, I, I, I didn't, if, if I thought Redneck was being completely out of line, I would put them in timeout, just like I would. But and by the way, any of you that have the wrench and moderators, please don't ban Redneck unless he actually threatens somebody or something like that. Because yeah, we're having a disagreement, but that's okay. Um, 
And Redneck, when you say you're taking it literal, that's fine. We don't take everything literal. Uh, and, and that's the problem that you're saying right there. You can't, if you take everything that everybody says literal, then uh, where, where does that leave us? Because that means that you think I'm literally an idiot. So in that case, I would take great offense to that. If you literally believe that I'm an idiot because you've said that multiple times. Um, you know, you say that I'm ignorant. You say uh, you said that I'm stupid. You say you know you've thrown all sorts of words out there that I will not repeat on my channel, and I take it with a grain of salt because that's just your personality. So I don't take it literal. If I did, I would be highly offended by a lot of the stuff you say, and that you want to you want to have a double standard and say that you need to you know because I. Um, you said it in Discord, man, and if you don't remember it, that's fine. You can go back and look it up. Um, but if you if if you want to sit there and just uh, and just go on and on and on about this, why? What is the point? I don't understand why you're getting so worked up about this. And then you say you're not upset, and yet look at the rhetoric you're throwing into the chat right now. That is not the rhetoric of somebody who's not emotional. Uh, Scorpion, Survival Instinct, and Unity are better Borg episodes of Voyager. I'm not a... Survival Instinct, I thought, was interesting. Unity, I honestly didn't like. Um, but uh, I, I th it wasn't horrifically bad like Endgame or Unimatrix Zero One, but or, uh, or Unimatrix Zero, sorry. But uh, I, I didn't particularly care for it. I do see Scorpion was the best, though. Um, I didn't say you're ignorant. I said you're ignorant of most things Trek outside of TOS. Yeah, that is saying I'm ignorant. Captain, if I'm going to take it read, literally, you said I'm ignorant. Of most things outside of TOS, that means I'm ignorant of everything except for the original series of Star Trek. Or at least most things except for the original series of Tre Star Trek. So no, I don't take you literally. If I did, then that alone would offend me. Um, yeah, and, and anyway, uh, Slash.Dash shows another 79 of his fake... Uh, whatever, pence, I guess. Thank you so much, Slash. Eat my pennies, greedy tip chart. <laughs> well, don't forget to pick a super chat reward if you so choose, man. Um, just apologize, 7 of 9 says, it's the greatest thing that happened to Trek, and all will be forgiven. Um, no, because she's not the greatest thing. Uh, I'm sorry, I, it's, don't get me wrong, and, and like I said in my video, I didn't. I don't hate Seven of Nine. I didn't think she was a horrible character or anything. I just don't think she brought all that much to the show. She just replaced one character that was a fish out of water with another. Um, Scorpions suck. It helped me to ruin. It helped to ruin the Borg. I have to disagree on that one, Anthony, because I think that uh, first contact did more damage to the Borg than Scorpion. In fact, Scorpion, I think, was a step in the right direction for the Borg. However, it then quickly fell apart when we were reintroduced to the Queen. Remember, the Queen did not appear in Scorpion. Uh, Redneck, if you took me. Incomplete statement, but okay. Wisdom begins with ignorance. That is actually true. Uh, is this the point when we need to break out the Lerpas? No, nah, I'm, I'm, I think Redneck would kick my butt. Uh, Google Voice riping doesn't understand me today. Well, start using your fingers. Um, that's what she said. Oh, that was bad. Uh, there's a little lady that has an antique store down the street. All, uh, all her Trek Hallmark keepsake ornaments are $15. Original series, Enterprise, Klingon Bird of Prey. I had that Klingon Bird of Prey one. Uh, the Enterprise A, Runabouts, Voyager, Romulan Bird of Prey. Oh, man. That sounds like a nice collection. Anti-Trekker needs to re rebond over Star Trek Discovery and Strong Whiskey. That sounds like a great plan, but I got to go to work in a little while, so I can't do that. Uh, Xavier's in the house. Says, Hi, Anti-Trekker, I love you. Hey, why is Neelix having an attack? Oh, because, yeah, I forgot I put him there. <laughs> That's just Neelix jabbering on for no apparent reason. <laughs> I'll get rid of him. I, I completely forgot I put that there. Uh, Winston... Throws two bucks in and says, I like bacon. Bacon does make the world better. I think we can all agree 
except for vegetarians who are filthy evil communists. But I think we can all agree that bacon makes the world better. Darth Revan says, Andy Trigger, I must admit it's fun watching an argument when you're not in it. I'm having a great time booking train tickets for a day trip in an hour. <laughs> I'm glad that we could, our ringside, our, 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 our death match via arguing can be <laughs> an entertainment for you. I came into one of your streams a few months back. Um, uh, the, uh, the other one, my account's called Joe Hops. Okay. Sorry, I've been, and, and I know, you know, a lot of people have multiple accounts or they, you know, there are some people that change their account name on a fairly frequent basis. Um, like Matt Decker is the guy's real name, but he goes by King Waspinator now. And, um, yeah, uh, I really like Caretaker. It feels like a great, sh uh, start for, of Star Trek. They didn't keep that level though. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I think Caretaker, it had a few flaws, um, most notably that Janeway could have gotten them back. How, but however, uh, I think the premise of Voyager was very promising and it just never lived up to it. And the whole problem was that they, they had this whole concept of having a crew that was half Federation, half terrorist in the Maquis. And imagine if, let's say you're on a United States warship and you're tr uh, tracking down a um an isis ship and then all of a sudden both ships get sucked into another uh universe somewhere and now the isis crew has to work with the american crew in order to come back that's what the tension should have been like but instead it was just like after a couple episodes uh about as rough as it got was taurus refers to tom paris as starfleet and they freaking got married you and Redneck arguing about uh, is about to make me cry. I don't want you to cry, Jay. I will stop arguing. Actually, it looks like he might be gone anyway because he hasn't posted in a minute. Or maybe he's just waiting for me to say the wrong thing. Uh, how's work going, anti Trekker? Well, it's work. And, you know, work is... If work didn't suck, they wouldn't pay us to do it. Which is funny because then we try to do things that we enjoy that don't suck. And Winston chooses number five. You got it, Winston. White, is this right? <laughs> Caretaker sucked ass. I don't agree with that entire. I mean, I don't think it was as strong a um, series premiere as Emissary. I don't think it was as strong as, um, oh gosh, uh, Broken, uh, Broken, or yeah, Broken Arrow. Is that it? But anyway, uh, and, and so I think they, those two were stronger season openers. But I think that the concept of Voyager showed a lot of promise. It just never came to fruition, and that really bothered me. Luke Favark is back! Throws two of his fake Imperial dollars into the chat and says, I'm back, how are you doing, man? And number two, I'm doing okay, my friend. You, you missed it. That Broken bow, thank you. Why did I think Broken Arrow? Wow. Um, but... Uh, yeah, Luke, uh, you missed, uh, if you hadn't seen it, Captain Rednick came in and, and we were fighting for a while. That was exciting. And Captain Rednick seems to have left in a huff because he says I'm lying about him. Um, uh, yeah. And so, uh, thank you, though, Luke. I truly appreciate the evil Imperial dollars. The poor TARDIS. Well, that's a TARDIS, though, Mary, not the TARDIS. Uh, if you could travel in time, who would you have a drink with a relative when they didn't know you at your age? Or would you... Uh, or what would you do? I would go back to 1870 Boston and tell a relative it will be okay. If I could go back in time, and this is the absolute truth, I would go back some 2,000 years uh, to uh, the Middle East and observe firsthand uh, what, you know, what uh, the teachings of Christ were, what he actually did, and verify it all firsthand. That's what I would do if I had a time machine. Uh, or verify that it didn't happen and then change my fundamental beliefs about everything. Um, 
I have very, very strong opinions on time travel. I actually do too. I don't think it's possible. I think it's possible to view the past. I don't think it's possible to go there. Um, I think that we will eventually be able to prove what happened 2,000 years ago, but it may not be for some time. And that's only because once we, I do think that eventually we'll develop faster than light travel. And when we do, we'll be able to observe Earth in the past by going faster than the speed of light, a couple thousand light years out, and then looking back at it with improved telescopic equipment and be able to observe the events of 2,000 years ago. Uh, consult Waspinator for ideas on Bon Voyage Redneck video. <laughs> I'm not doing a Bon Voyage redneck video because I don't hate the guy. And I and genuinely, I don't want him to leave. I just don't want... I'm, I'm just not going to uh, sit back while he basically keeps saying how ignorant I am and all that. I'm, I'm tired of it. If he wants to disagree with me, I'm totally cool with that. I'm not okay with personal insults thrown into it. And that's what he does. Um... The power of the butterfly effect is huge and potentially catastrophic. Observation and documentation the only acceptable use of time travel. I think it's the only possible uses of time travel. I don't believe it is possible to actually physically go back in time. Um, and I also don't believe in the many worlds theory, by the way. I think that's just a mathematical loophole to try and come up with. A pro it's, it's a way of predicting probability of things, but then people think it's actual physical universes. That's a load of crap. Um... Dr. Alex, back in the house. Good to see you back, Alex. Uh, Mountains of the Elysium says, It is I, Shromer. I am in disguise. Hold the applause. I'm using my world-building channel, uploading a few videos. Come on, people. Help out anti Trekker. Give the stream a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you, Mountains of Elysium. Um, Azirin, man, what is with you guys and your names that I can't pronounce? Speaking of the Turtis, did you see that Season 11 is returning on October 7th? Looking forward to it. Um, no. Honestly, uh, I think that the whole gender bending of Doctor Who was just a stunt. I don't think that it's going to pay off the way they want it to. And, it's, and then here's what's going to happen. The Doctor Who ratings have been slipping for a while. And if they continue to decline, now people are going to say, it's because of sexists. And I'm tired of that crap. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm a very strong proponent of the Temporal Prime Directive. Well, like I said, I don't believe that true time travel is actually even possible. anti Trigger, when are you and the rest of ZZ Top going on tour? Um... Probably not for a couple of years. Uh, you know, a couple of us need hip replacement and stuff like that. Would you rather be a roll of toilet paper or a plunger? Pass. Uh, context is for King reminds me of Caretaker. Full of promise, cool ideas, but the following episodes undermine its potential. You are absolutely right. Context is for Kings actually did get me somewhat optimistic, but yeah, then didn't go anywhere. If you could send yourself a text message five years in the past, how would your past self believe it? That's a good question. Um, if I could send my... Well, I would just say... I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I would probably send uh, winning lottery numbers for that for the upcoming that week's lottery and say, trust me, spend the buck. And if I saw that, I'd probably go, ah, what the heck? Um, oh, look, it's got three settings. Uh, I'm not sure. I must have missed something, Titch. Uh, I don't believe it's possible either, but it must be, it be fun and entertainment. Yeah, it is. It is a fun thing to think about it, but yeah. Uh, there is no time travel in Star Trek, according to Lore Reloaded. Absolutely true. Lore would say that. Um, do you think Q backed off when he got punched by the Cisco because he knew it? he was half wormhole alien? That's an interesting question. I don't think so. I think Q was just shocked uh, because Q is not omniscient. That is clear. He can be surprised and has been on multiple times. For example, when in... Uh, Q who, when he brought Picard back to the Enterprise, he was surprised that Guinan was there. So Q is definitely not omniscient. So there's no way, or there's no reason to think that he knew that Cisco was a wormhole alien. Uh, uh, we, we are, says slash dot dash. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, that's basically how I feel about this. It's such a shame, though, you can just call me AZ. Everyone else does. All right, AZ. <laughs> um, Burnham would not pass. Okay, and, and now Titch says, I am Revan. You guys are confusing the heck out of me. Stop it. Wait, is Anti Trekker from the future here? No, I haven't seen me from the future lately. Slash says, answer my comment. We we are? Or the comment where you said, do you, if, do you think you backed off? I already answered that one. Or were you not listening? Um, I'm confused now. Or did I read? I, I read the wrong thing, didn't I? I sure did. I don't know. Man, I got I, I picked the wrong week to stop sniffing glue. Uh, what would you do? Would you join the Federation Temporal Time Police if they asked you to join up? Sure. Because then I get cool technology. Hey, anti Trigger, don't always agree with your opinion. For example, I like Discovery, but I still come here and enjoy the show and chat and laugh at the jokes. Well, thank you, Mr. Captain. And that's the thing. Even though you like Discovery, and I know, guys, don't beat up on them. All right? Do not beat up on them. It's okay you like Discovery as long as you're not saying that, well, the reason you don't like it is because you're a racist or some crap like that. We can have an honest discussion about it. I think it's too dark. You may like the fact that it's dark. Um, and so that's fine. That's a worthwhile discussion. What's not a worthwhile discussion is to throw personal insult. Cisco pump slap for the win. I think it's pimp slap. Uh, there's also a Teach Potato 1, a Teach Potato 2, and uh, through to Teach Potato 5, I think. There's a few others, though. Uh, most of them are just burner emails. What, what, you can, now you're confusing me, Teach. Titch. Titch. Why well, say Teach? Um, did you see my idea for a comparison review of your earlier video comparing TOS to Continues? I, I didn't see that. Uh, that I'm sorry. Uh, I must have missed it, but... The Star Trek continues, honestly, the fanfics, while some of them are very well produced, I, I, I gotta say, there's no comparison, because, I mean, it, it really, they are not professional, and you can tell. Um, I was asking Titch if he was Titch Potato on Discord when answering me, oh, your Alzheimer's is getting worse. It is, man, I tell you, it's actually, honestly, that I'm just so freaking tired today, because like I said before, and some of you may have missed it, I literally got about three and a half hours of sleep last night because the live stream went so late and I had to get up so early, so I am a little burnt right now. Um, that airplane quote made me chuckle. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> as well. I, I love me airplane. Time Popo. Yes. Uh, John Titter said Auntie from the future is trapped like Mr. in Mr. Plinkett's basement. Uh-oh. That's not good for my future then. Cisco's pimp hand officially knows the defying class. Yes, that phrase was coined, of course, by SF Debris and borrowed heavily by Lore Reloaded. Slash is sick him, sick him. He likes STD. Um... And the thing is, and, and, and by the way, and, and Mr. Captain says right there, he may like SCD, but he can still laugh at its, F, at its issues. That's exactly my point. And, and here's the thing, Mr. Captain, like, and, and like I tried to explain to Captain Redneck about a thousand times, um, I like First Contact. I don't love it, but I like that movie. But to ignore some of the problems that I point out is just to delude yourself because you say it's great because I like it. I... You know what? I, I see flaws in stuff I love all the time. Uh, I, in fact, we talked about earlier the fact that Khan recognized Chekhov in Star Trek II is a glaring flaw. Right? That is a major problem. And yet, it's right there. And so if I were doing a review of Star Trek II, I would absolutely bring that up. Um, another one, and this is one that very few people ever catch, but the next time you watch Star Trek II, and I know pretty much everybody in this room has probably seen Star Trek II on multiple accounts, times but i'll bet you this is one that most of you have never noticed and that is that savik gets her line wrong and they keep it in the final edit and you say what what are you talking about and that is when they're getting ready to enter the mutara nebula um savik says uh there's problems with the nebula sir and they're like well how so all the all the discharging static will um uh, will cloud their tactical display, visual won't function, 
and the shields won't work. And then Spock says, sauce for the goose. Problem is, that's the exact opposite of what happens. It does not cloud your tactical display. Tactical does not function. It clouds the visual display, which is why they were looking visually and yet static all over the place. And even when the Reliant then just a few seconds later enters the nebula, Khan says, tactical. And of course, Joachim says, not functional. And so the, the, the lines were, her line was completely backwards. It was an obvious mistake that they didn't catch because uh, Kirstie Alley got her line mixed up and they just left it in the final cut. So bam. And so, yeah, I laugh at that every time I see Star Trek II and she says that, I'm like, what kind of a freaking idiot is she? How do you cloud a tactical display? That doesn't even make sense. Um, so the, the tactical display was non-functional and the visual display was clouded, uh, because of the electromagnetic interference. Um, and so it's first contact is still the best movie. I don't care. La 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 la. Okay. <laughs> tactical display was the two dots chasing each other around Regulus. Yes. And that didn't work when they were in the nebula. That's the point. It was when they were, uh, yeah, when they, I, I know exactly what you're talking Yeah, when Kirk orders tactical and you see the Reliant on one side and the, and the Enterprise on the other and they're, doot, doot, doot. that's the tactical display. When they go into the nebula, tactical doesn't function because of the, the fact that sensors cannot penetrate the, the nebula. And so you can't get a tactical display because it can't record where the position of the Reliant is and everything in relative space to you. So, and visual is your only option, but visual is staticky because of all the, the discharging static. And, but they, they just completely screwed it up. And it's okay. I mean, it's, 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 it's funny to me. That's hilarious. Uh, they made a similar line mistake in Science of the Lamps. I'm not sure which one you're referring to, but I would, I think, I, I, I'm trying to remember because I think, it's like right on the tip of my tongue. I haven't watched Science of the Lambs in a long time. You see, Anti-Trigger, you put a cloud PNG over the display and you move it around a little. <laughs> oh, man. Um, would you like to see a TV series with a true warship, maybe call a war class, and have the crew deal with the new military federation versus the old explorers that used to be in the older days? I don't know. I, I wouldn't mind a true space military show if they did it well. I mean, like, Battlestar Galactica had was a true military space show, and I think it was done incredibly well. And I think Star Trek could do something like that. Uh, Star Trek V, the great, uh, greatest Star Trek movie. Yeah, thanks to Captain George's recordings. Yes, Thank you for reminding me that Captain George needs to be fired. Uh, just wondering, in the Army, does that branch also have a commander's intent like they do in the Navy? It would have saved lives in The Last Jedi. Um, it's probably not called the same thing. but com uh, So, yeah, you're, you'd have to kind of describe what commander's intent means to me because... I, I, it's probably means it might be a different phrase in the army and it's just not ringing a bell since I was uh, never in the Navy. Similar error in science of the lambs. No, no starling. There's not enough time. We want him for, we want him for murder, not kidnapping. You're uh, Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And he should have said we want him for kidnapping, not murder. Yeah. Uh, above and beyond that show was good. I, I never saw space above and beyond. Uh, Call the show Mako's instead of Star Trek. Um, and Captain George says, you won't fire me, Anti-Trekker. Uh, just, just because nobody else wants your job for the same pay. Um, I don't know how much salty... Uh, I don't. I want to know how salty Redneck really is. Yeah, it's funny. He's probably, like, in real life, Captain Redneck is probably, like, the most soft-spoken, sweet guy you've ever met. And, you know, he's just, like, complete opposite of what we think. Um... Because of the discarded static. Is that what I said? Oh, man. D discharging, I think. Isn't that, what, however she said it. I don't remember exactly. But you get the point. Uh, um, I'll take your job. Videos will be crappy for eight months. But I'll do <laughs> Alright, Nexus. Oh, man. Alright, guys. No banjo? No, I don't have a banjo with me today. Um, actually, I... I don't own a banjo at all. So, yeah, there's that. Um, 
I know you can be demoted, but can an admiral be busted down to a cadet? And who would boast? No. Um, generally speaking, if if uh, if something was so bad that an admiral would be busted down to a cadet, they would be dishonorably discharged. I mean, there's no, there's no, that would be way too far. Uh, what a lying liar! A discarded st static. My oh, shut up, waspinator. Huh. Answer my query. Says Titch. What did I miss, Titch? Um, I don't see your query. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Uh, I'm going back. Titch said, "I'm curious. What is your opinion on the Matrix, and more specifically, the accompanying media? Personally, I love them, and Sparks thought trains that fascinate and terrify me. I think the Matrix is an interesting. It was an interesting franchise. Uh, I actually liked Animatrix a lot more than a lot of people. And that's funny. You just reposted it. But I like uh, Animatrix better than a lot of people did. I think the Matrix sequels. Um, were okay, but did not live up to their potential. Um, so, yes. Uh, no, I mean, discarding the, my image of Captain Redneck. Wait, what, what? You're discarding an image of Captain... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, because I said he's actually a sweet little guy that, that's like the nicest guy ever. Yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to mess with you there. Uh, wait, they discharge an STD... <laughs> Yeah, no, then STD caused a discharge. I think we had that backwards. Mr. Pete Channel needs 500 subs. Is in the house. Says, I'm going live after you. Maybe. Please give me a number one. You got it, my friend. No, no, please. I, I don't mm -hmm. want to go. I don't want to go. Please. Mm. No, I don't want to go. No. Mm -hmm. Why would you do this to your mm. fans, you heartless monster? What a... <laughs> Um, Animatrix is a high point of the franchise for me. Uh, it was the closest to hitting the potential the movies fell short of. I agree. I think there was some stuff in Animatrix that was really good, high-concept stuff. And unfortunately, uh, Matrix sequels did not do it. anti Trekker hates the Matrix trilogy confirmed. Yes, you see? And that's... Uh, Waspinator, you hit the nail on the head there as far as the way that some people do overreact is that they say, oh, he said he doesn't like them as much as they could have been, therefore he hates it. <sighs> Poor Spider-Man, yes, he didn't want to go. Uh, I think Star Trek VI was full of many little flaws. Uh, there are definitely a fair share in Star Trek VI, um, but I... Um, uh, you know, it's just, I, I guess for me, Star Trek 2, the ones point stick out more mainly because of the fact that I've seen Star Trek 2 so freaking many times. I literally wore out like two VHS tapes of it. Any thoughts of Zachary Quinto reviving in search of stupid? I, I, I haven't heard that before just now, but if so, that's stupid. They're just saying, oh, well, he played young Spock and old Spock did the original in search of, so let's have young Spock do the new in search of. Give me a freaking break. That's as stupid as making Sulu gay in, in Star Trek Beyond. Um, so, Alex says, Hey, Iron Wolf, I'm your seventh subscriber. Awesome. Well, Iron Wolf, you're up to seven. Uh, Luke says, Never knew the line mistaken from her. The lines are right order from the French version. Oh, well, that would make sense. Yeah, in the French version. That's funny. I, You know what, Luke? If you can, I would love to see if you have the French version and, like, with English subtitles would be awesome to see if that's true. Um, anti Trekker, do you like country music? Some, but not a lot. Uh, I grew up on the likes of like John Denver, Kenny Rogers, those kind of guys. Um, but I'm not a, I'm not a country music fan, but which is funny because I live just outside of Nashville. Jagerbomb throws another five into the chat. Thank you so much. So speaking of anime, anyone seen the Gundam shows? Personal favorite of mine, my see Lore Master. You absolutely can, and no, I have not. I've never seen any of the Gundam shows. Uh, I know that they, they do have some very, very devoted fans, though. It froze up. Sir. What is going on here? There we go. You're wrong, your highness. I am lore reloaded. 
a lore master, like my father before me. So be it, lore master. If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed. You will pay the price for not going with the studio's vision. Father, please! Huh? No, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, of course, Captain George, for your wonderful voice work as Emperor Palpatine. Your talent knows no bounds. Um, so, <laughs> Thundercats had the best opening credits theme from the 80s. Um... I didn't watch a lot of 80s cartoons, to be honest with you, so I was I was more of a 70s kid, so I, I couldn't speak to that. Um, flap your arms like a bird? Why? I, I, I'm not, but I, I'm not going to do that, but I'll flap Neelix's gums? How's that? There you go. You can, you can watch that for the next few minutes. Um... So you betrayed him. Who did I betray? Uh, did I uh, did I betray somebody? Oh, and apologies for mentioning Galactica 1980. Yeah, that's ugh, that show was so bad. And John Denver's hair, yes, was kind of like I think it was boxy or whatever. Yeah. Um. For money? Yeah, question mark says Jagerbaum, and I'm not sure that I missed something. I, I, yeah, I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Airwolf says Mr. Cat. Well, Air, but we're talking about cartoons specifically. Uh, Airwolf had an awesome theme song. So did Knight Rider, uh, but they were not cartoons. The anti trucker hates Thundercats. Confirmed. Yes, I, I've never even seen Thundercats. I honestly have never seen Thundercats, and so because I'm older than you. Huh. They should shoot Snarf. Uh, the only reason I know who Snarf is is from Robot Chicken. <laughs> in Star Trek Six, why is Valeris sliding down a pole and you see how cheap the set is? That is a good question. Uh, that was kind of weird. Um, I, I, I wasn't a big fan. Uh, I, I really liked the original concept they had, which was to bring back Savick, but Kirstie Alley didn't want to play the part. Stupid of her. When did the Matrix of Leadership turn into the beam cannon in any of the G1 shows or comics? Um... Good question. I, as far as Transformers are concerned, I don't think the Matrix showed up until the movie. It wasn't really in the in the G one show, at least. And now, when you say G one show, I think of the original the original Transformers show, not nothing after it. But that's all I ever saw. Thunder, thunder, thundercats! Ho! And I only know that again from Robot Chicken. Andy Trekker hates the Easter Bunny. Confirmed. Yeah, apparently I hate everything. And I'm ignorant of everything except for St Star Trek, the original series. Don't forget that. <sighs> you never saw Thundercats Scandalous. Well, not really. Speaking of cartoons, have you ever seen Batman the Animated Series? Yes. In fact, I actually really liked it. The wife and I... Uh, my, my wife never outgrew cartoons. She still watches cartoons to this day. And so uh, when, when it first came out, she was like, Oh, you got to watch this, honey. And it was really good. So, yeah. Um, Gummy Bears, the best opening theme tune. Only if you're talking about the Gummy Bears, again, from Robot Chicken, where it's voiced by uh, Melina Kunis and she steps in the bear trap. That is freaking awesome. Uh, so <laughs> All right, guys, I do need to wrap it up because i got to work in just a little bit, but I want to thank you all for putting up with me, uh, especially if you're out there, Captain Redneck. Hey, genuinely, no hard feelings. I don't know why you think I'm lying about you. I'm really not. But whatever, dude. Uh, if, if, if you're done, you're done. Have a great day and a great life. To the rest of you, thanks again for being the most awesome crowd on YouTube. <laughs>
the Anti Tracker. Quantum, quantum, we will quantum, return quantum, to your scheduled quantum, programming quantum, shortly. Quantum, quantum, we are currently quantum, experiencing quantum, technical quantum, difficulties. Quantum, 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 something better and why throwing Taurus in saying quantum I don't know I I genuinely don't but Winston throws in two bucks for Kronos and in dedication of his love for Kronos he wants number nine I am Lore Reloaded here to get this entire thing started here for Lore <laughs> you just tripped over something that was so obvious <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually thinking about like since uh, the way that Taurus says quantum there does sound kind of musical I'm going to try to like capture every cast member of Star Trek in especially because it doesn't really happen much in the I don't think they ever said quantum in the in the original series but I'll have to look but every time quantum is said like grab a little thing like that of them saying that um so, Alex, thank you so much for your pound, but you got to tell me what you want. If you don't tell me what you want, I can't give you what you want. And, you know, you, you can't always get what you want, but you get what you need. Um, wait. And Alex wants number 14. You got it, my friend. I have to save that old person. Sam! Well, thank you very much for helping me steal this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, may the quantum be with you. So Bird of Prey throws five bucks towards the printer um, fund because he knows how to get a good deal. Because even though I, I promise, I'm you know, because I know some people think I'm too much of a tip jar as it is. The printer fund is not going anywhere, but anybody that donates to it, um, you get double rewards for that because, I don't know, I'm just like that. Uh, so, wants to see Mega Chat number two. And so here it comes, my friend. I went to a Republican party my and my friend asked how was it and I said it was all right. <laughs>
against the anti-tracker. We will return to your scheduled programming shortly, or we are currently experiencing technical difficulties.